Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a switch that I have been using for quite a while now and it has risen in the ranks to being one of my favorite linears to date. And that is the Gateron Summertime V2s. Thank you to Punkshu, the creator of this switch, for sending it my way. Now these go for a price of 55 cents per switch. This is the version 2 of this switch because the version 1 had issues with the keycaps not fitting and a lot of other things. So I decided to talk to the creator of this switch and we filmed another video where we basically go over all the issues and the creative process behind this switch. Sort of in the style of video like I did with Theremin Go. So if you're interested in that, Feel free to subscribe, that'll come out later on on Wednesday morning of this week. But the specifications of the Switch is, it is a linear switch with a palm top housing, a polished Gateron long pole ink stem, a polished milky bottom housing, a 63 gram dual stage long spring, it is factory luge right out of the box and has a 3.8 millimeter travel distance. This switch feels absolutely buttery smooth right out of the box. You don't need to do anything to these switches for them to sound good, but if you did want to, there is a slight, very minimal tick when pressing these switches that I found, but it is so unnoticeable that I didn't even think it was worth spending the hours that it would to get rid of it. This switch has just been so much fun to type on and I really wanted to share it with you guys. The long pole stem, even though Usually that creates a harsher bottom out that is not an effect here. And I really like the fact that it's not four millimeter travel distance. That 0.2 millimeter travel distance change from 3.8 to four, in my opinion, actually makes a world of a difference when typing. Now I know if you're a fan of color matching switches to keyboards and stuff like that, that this colorway is not the greatest in my opinion. I know a lot of people might like it, but I do think it is a bit out there for my taste. But again, once I put on keycaps and I put them in the keyboard, you know, I totally forgot. Here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds right out the box. So if you're interested on what keyboard I'm typing on, this is my TG67 V2 that I reviewed two weeks ago. But in terms of sound profile, I do think these are more of the creamy, clackier side of things. I know my keyboard does make it sound a bit on the deeper end spectrum as well. But in other keyboards that I put them in, it was more the creamy clack that you are kind of hearing in this keyboard. So. If you're expecting something like that, then this is going to be a great switch to check out. The sound is amazing. The feel is amazing. You know, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. The total travel distance is right where I want it. It does not have a harsh bottom out. And overall, it's just a great switch that I really enjoy typing on. So if you are interested in this switch, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below for you to check out. But let me know what you guys thought about the summertime v2 switches from gateron in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace